Howdy everyone, thanks for stopping into Spear Studios to check out this little uh, unboxing video, so to speak. So uh, there's a very talented artist out there, some of you may have seen him, uh, his name is Hal Haney. You can follow him on Twitter and Instagram at Hal Haney Art, H-A-L-H-A-N-E-Y Art. Um, he ran a contest about a week ago where he was giving away some of his wrestling prints. He does great wrestling artwork and comic book artwork. Wrestling and comics is his thing, and if anybody knows me, that's my thing too, as you can see from my comic championship wrestling league. So I entered, so to speak, and I won. So I got to pick five prints out of, I think, about 25 different prints, um, maybe more than that, I think around 30. Um, I got to pick five, and I'm going to do a little opening and show you them and see the five that I picked because they were awesome. It was real hard to choose. You can still go online and see um, the contest out there. Even his little collage that he, where he put them all up. And you can see where, uh, you know, which ones were there to choose from. So, yeah, to start off, these are so awesome. The detail in them is so cool. Little Easter eggs, too. So the first one I got, I chose the Triple Threat cover because I'm a huge ECW fan. I couldn't pass up this cover. It is an homage to the Warriors 3 number one, um, a mini series that Marvel Comics put out. Um, so you can see, I mean, it's got ECW guys knocked out from all the guys whose asses the triple threat kicked ass, um, whose asses the triple threat kicked. And yeah, very cool. Lots of awesome detail. Love the colors. You can see too, as time has gone on too, Hal's colors have gotten so much more better, his details. Everything like that. Very cool. This one too, because this is one of my favorite periods in wrestling is early 90s. Which you can see from the sense sign. This is 92. This is an homage to Wrestle War 92. Where Sting Squadron faced the Dangerous Alliance. This is an homage to X-Men number 100. Where Paul E. is representing Professor X in the background. It's X-Men versus X-Men. Um, but this one again, very cool. Everybody who's in the match is involved in the picture. It's very got a cool cartoonish style. The cage in the back, because you know, as you can see, it was a war games match. This is yeah. This one was definitely one of my favorites because, like I said, that's all. This is one of my favorite times in wrestling. Oh, this one's so cool too. Again, with the, the detail, the colors, these are all so awesome. Not even to mention all the other awesome stuff that he puts out there. Like I have, you can see the two that I have already hung up here. The, the Fifty Shades of Pythons from Hulk Hogan and the Fifty Shades of Whoop Ass of Steve Austin. I have four other Hal prints uh, that I got my son. Uh, he has rogues galleries of Spider-Man and Batman. I put those up as well as of He-Man and Skeletor. My son has those in his room. I love Hal's work. This one too, the next one, is an homage to Hulk number 181, the first appearance of Wolverine. And it's, you can see it's an homage to WrestleMania VI with Hulk versus Ultimate Warrior. You got the Macho King hanging out in the background. This one is too cool, too. The details on it, it looks just like the cover of Hulk. It's got the championship titles up at the top. Obviously, the Immortal Hulk. Very cool. First from Parts Unknown, yep. And the survivor of their epic battle must face the Macho King, which is a cool, really cool Easter egg because at WrestleMania Seven, Warrior faced Macho King as they were leading up to after Sergeant Slaughter. Or after he dropped the title to Sergeant Slaughter after he won it from Hogan at the previous WrestleMania. Super cool. Super cool Easter eggs. Awesome stuff. I tried to pick ones, I guess, from all awesome periods in wrestling. Um, from ones that he had. Because it was like, how he made a Rock versus Austin print. How could, I, how could I pass that up? How could I pass up Rock Austin? Now, this one is an original looking piece. That's just the Rock on the buckle looking down at Austin. Hyping up from their match at WrestleMania 17. I mean, it's a it's a wrestling moment turned into a comic book cover. It's wrestling and comics. It's exactly it's it embodies it right there. It's super cool. April 1st, twenty dollars and one cent because it took place in 2001. Tons of cool Easter eggs. Very cool detail. Fans signs all over the place. Yeah, too cool. Very awesome. And the last one I picked, which again, which is probably the, the biggest embodiment of the wrestling and comics crossover, is an actual custom cover of Amazing Spider-Man with Spider-Man vs. Bonesaw McGraw, who was played by Macho Man Randy Savage in the first Spider-Man movie. 
So, and that's exactly it right there. I mean, it's Spider-Man versus the Macho Man, but versus Bonesaw, because wrestling and comics, that's how it goes. Um, three minutes of playtime, which is what Macho Man says in the movie. It covers everything right there. It's got the comics code in the cover. Tons of cool detail. I mean, wrestling and comics, that's that's it right there. That's all of it. That's what it's about. Wrestling and comics are like, are like peanut butter and jelly. They go together so well. So, those are very cool. Uh, thank you, Hal. They're they're awesome. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put them. 